In today's video, I'll be answering the most asked question on all of my social media platforms since literally forever, being, how do I do my hair? So I would divide the video into three different sections, one on hair care and then two different ways to do heatless curls. In terms of hair care, what you will need is a hair dryer, mine's from GHD, a shampoo and conditioner, I just use whatever's in my bathroom at the time, a towel, a scalp scrub, mine's from Amazon, and a finishing serum. Both of which are optional, but I do think they help. A heat protecting spray, which is definitely not optional, even if you're only using a hair dryer on it. And lastly, a hairbrush. I decided the best and most appropriate way to show how I wash my hair is by hovering over the bathtub and thus in the process breaking my back. But you know, if you're using a shampoo that can lather, um, just use a small bit and work it into your hands so it gets all nice and bubbly. And by doing this, it can reach its full potential and do all its magic in your hair that it needs to do. Make sure that you thoroughly work it into your hair, for example, the hairline so that you don't get them really annoying spots. So before I put on my conditioner, I squeeze out any excess water I have in the ends of my hair. Then I use just a dollop of it. And then I just lever it up in there and I let it sit for a few minutes. Usually this would be the time that I'm like washing my body in the shower, but I just kind of waited here for a little while. And then I just rinsed it all out. If you're sure that you've washed out all your shampoo and your conditioner so that nothing's left, then you can go on to squeezing out all the excess water, grabbing your towel. Then I dry my scalp because I don't want the hair at the top of my head to air dry just because it ends up getting really greasy a lot faster and I hate that feeling so. And then I wrap my hair with the towel just like this. And now I just brush my hair. Many people say don't brush your hair wet, but I kind of have to because then my hair will be a tangled mess and I feel like there will be more damage done if I don't. So I brush it out and then I spray my hair with heat protectant. And then when I dry my hair, I start at the top at my scalp and then I, I kind of work my way down. And when I do heatless curls, I have to make sure that my hair is completely dry, like completely dry. If I wake up and I touch my heatless curls and it's wet, I already know that my heatless curls are gonna go away in like two seconds. Like they will not survive the day if you wake up and they're still wet. So I don't take the risk. Now that I've dried my hair, I'm gonna add a finishing serum. I don't do this every single time. It just kind of depends what mood I'm in, to be honest. And I only add it to the ends. And lastly, in terms of when I wash my hair, I do it at night, obviously, because I do overnight heatless curls. But I do it every other night, starting on the Sunday. If I'm not going anywhere on the weekend, then I'll take them days off and not do anything with my hair. Otherwise, I will probably wash my hair again. To achieve my go-to heatless curls, you will need a dressing gown or bathrobe belt and three hair ties or scrunchies. Just something to hold your hair together. So with the belt, you will see that directly in the middle, there is a little seam. You're gonna to wanna to place that in the middle of your head. Unfortunately, in this video, I didn't actually do that. And you'll see one side had less fabric to wrap it around, but it still ended up working. But firstly, make sure your parting's nice and clean. I find that if it's not, it can be really uncomfortable to sleep with. And I'm gonna go through this really slowly so that people can understand what I'm doing. Get your first finger and your thumb, slide your thumb under your hair up until around behind your ear. And you wanna grab a section of hair and pull it over the belt and then hold it with your other hand. With your first hand, you're gonna grab another section of hair, grab the other piece of hair from before and bring it over again. Now you're gonna repeat this process and then with the excess hair, you're just gonna keep wrapping it around until you get to the very end. When you're doing the end of your hair, you wanna make sure it's very clean and tight because otherwise, when you unravel it the next day, it'll be all tangled and you'll have a really, really hard time taking it out. Where your finger is holding the very end of your hair with the bottom of the belt, flip it up over that piece of hair, bring the belt up to the air, wrap it around, wrap it around again, 
bring it down to the bottom and then if you have excess you can bring it to the middle and wrap there and then use a hair tie or a scrunchie to secure it now you'll have like two long sausages on this either side of your head and so you're going to grab each one and give it a small twist then bring it to the back of your head and secure with a bubble it is really comfortable i will have to say i don't feel it when i sleep and um, just make sure that when you're wrapping your hair around the belt that the belt is not twisting so the next day here is me taking it out What I like to do if I want to do a half up, half down, I try to keep the first curl on either side of my head separated and then I will quickly use a clip and put it at the back of my head. If you're just going to weigh your hair down, do not try brushing it. Do not try, you know, where you flip your head over and start giving it a shake because it will just make it frizzy. It's only after like a day when it's all softened that you can brush it and it'll still look okay. But at this point, you'll probably just ruin it. So my advice is to just let it be because it will settle and it will fall. To achieve the heatless blowout curls, you will need long socks, a shower cap, flexi rods, two mini clips, and hairspray. So whenever I want to do this hairstyle, I have my socks inside my shower cap. It's all in one little area. Inside each sock is about like four, five flexi rods. They're quite bad, in terms of their flexiness but they do the trick so so i'm firstly going to split my hair into two sections i'm going to grab this piece of hair put it underneath the section of hair and then roll inwards when you get to the top you want to bend the sock upwards and in and then with the excess piece of sock pull it right around shove it into the front these two sections of hair that i'm pointing to you're going to want to give it a slight tug so that there isn't too much tension and if you did it correctly it should just stay up on its own moving on to the back section i bring the section of hair to the front then i put the sock underneath the hair and roll it up and then bring it to the back and carry on rolling it up when you're rolling it up make sure you're not doing it super tight until you get to the top of your head then when you've rolled it to the top, you're going to bend it downwards and in with the excess sock, wrap it all the way around and then just kind of shove it in somewhere and it should stay. I've also seen people do it where they flip their head over and then roll it up. And as someone who never wears my hair up like ponytail wise, having it positioned at the very top of my head would give me a severe headache. So that's why mine's positioned so much lower, but it does the same thing. And then with the shower cap, mine only has one side that is this like stretchy bit. Um, I use that to scoop the bottom bit and then took the excess fabric under the front bit. I call it a bit because I don't really know what to call it. And then with the sides, I just kind of roll it inwards and use the too many clips to just clip it in place. So the next day when you take it out, it should look something like this. These are the clips that I used in my last school vlog, which if you haven't seen, link down below. When doing these heatless curls though, it does require hairspray because I find that it doesn't hold. As you can see, it looks really cute, bouncy. But yeah, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm grateful again of how much we've grown on this youtube channel because i'm literally at 15,000 subscribers which is absolutely crazy to think because like a month ago i was at like what 3k but i love you guys so much bye